Hello, I'm in Norwich. Day one of the boat safety scheme training. I'm excited, nervous, mostly tired. Let's get ready. We have to wear long trousers in the compound, which was handy enough because I hadn't shaved in forever. It was a three minute drive or a 10 minute walk. So I've opted to walk. It's boiling. Said it was gonna be overcast and raining all week, but it is absolutely scorching. My bag's really heavy. They sent us this equipment list as long as your arm. And I don't know if we're gonna need all of it every day, but obviously I've packed all of it for day one. I'm pretty much here. I can't take you in because there's no filming on the side. But I'll catch up with you at the end of the day. Day one done and dusted. They gave us this lovely hard hats and high vis jacket, which I think everybody else on the course could fit inside with me. First impressions I'm a lot more confident now than I was this morning. There's a big mixture of different skills, knowledge and experience amongst all of the people there. There's 11 of us all together and everyone's really, really nice. Yeah, definitely a bit of imposter syndrome this morning, thinking that I wouldn't know as much or have done as much as other people, but I definitely don't feel that way now, so that's good. Today was pretty like introductory, just an overview of what the BSS is and the role of the examiner. Uh, yeah, so I mean, it was a long day. There was a lot to take in, but it was all really easy to follow. Lots of stuff that we'd already done online. So it was kind of a recap on that. Um, yeah, it was like a pretty basic day. I think we're going to get more into the nitty gritty as the week goes on. Tomorrow is all going to be starting examinations and going through um, how you would do an examination so tomorrow all day is going to be on the boats some of us went to great yarmouth for dinner it was pretty dead but the beach was pretty Ooh, hotel cat it's too early it's raining i've got something in my shoe i decided to walk on the main road today and was splashed by every single car coming past pretty though Aha, here we are. Oh, that was a long and wet day. We started at 8.15 and finished at 5.45. So we spent all day on the boats. We stayed on the same boat all day. Um, we'll get a chance to look on other boats later on in the week. We're in pairs with a trainer, basically like the showed us how we would work out on the field actually conducting um, the inspection. So to fill in all the details for the boat, you know, all the things that you would do before you start the formal checks. And then we went inside the boat and we started looking at some of the checks that you would do, the EPCs. We looked at fuel systems, electrical systems, and practiced like filling in the sheets and writing up where the boat had failed and what it had failed on and how to word that properly. It was all easy to understand. The pace was good. If anything, I think it could have been a bit more fast paced, but I suppose then that would be too much to take in. Um, but there was nothing that was overwhelming. There were definitely things that I didn't know or needed some prodding or reminding on, but nothing where I thought, oh this is too much i'm never ever gonna get it and it was quite slow because we were learning but you soon realize that there might be 10 checks on the list but in reality you would get them done in a couple of minutes because you'd be going around for example looking at the electric circuit wiring and 
there'd be more than one thing that you'd be checking at the same time so it was kind of teaching us the proper process to take and the way to do the examination and then you can go back to your sheet and realize oh, I can tick a few things because I've checked them all together just in that one walk around. Yes, yeah, so we did that and then we ended the day. They showed us how to do the gas tightness testing. Tomorrow is going to be mostly classroom based. Yeah, still feeling good and I will check in with you again tomorrow. Oh, it's too early. I was falling asleep by about half past six last night. But then some of us went to the pub until it closed. Ooh, it's squelchy. Oh fuck. Fuckity uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, bollocks. It rained and rained and rained all day and into the evening where everyone, including the trainers, went for a really nice dinner. Jesus! Just got back, it's about 11 o'clock. Today was really good. It was all to do with electric stuff. Um, it was very straightforward, lots of uh, theory based, lots of stuff that we'd already done online, but we're just recapping it and making sure that we understood it. Some stuff about risk assessments, and then we did our first like um, exam. I had to demonstrate the safe disconnection process on a boat. So um, when you're going and doing the checks, you need to make sure that all the AC electrical systems are dead so they're not switched on. And there's no risk of you getting electrocuted. And there's a process to do that and we had to be tested on that, so that was all cool. And tomorrow, a bit more time on the boats, a bit more time in the classroom. Uh, so I should get to bed, ready? Ah, oh, today's been brilliant. The whole of the area surrounding the compound is flooded. So we had to wade through knee-deep water uh, to get in today. Luckily, one of the guys was walking with me and he gave me a piggyback through all of the flood water, which is a very, very sweet of him, but we didn't realise it was going to come up past his knees. Um, and then he very delicately placed me down and I proceeded to fall directly into the flood water. So I've been soaked all day. I spent the morning on the boats going over the rest of the ECPs that we didn't look at already what do we look at today we looked at like um fire extinguishers and the lpg system like checking the condition of pipes and hoses and making sure that they were compliant it was really good there was a few checks we had to get like really deep down go upside down and inside bits of the boat and then in the afternoon we looked at the database which is where you would enter all of the details of an examination uh, of all the boats and everything and you can issue the certificates through there and we could do other sort of admin things from there so that was very interesting very very easy to use uh, probably the best database i've ever used very user friendly i can't believe tomorrow's the last day already the week has flown by but it's been so good and made even better by the people. We just have not stopped laughing for the four days so far. And on that note, we're all going out for dinner in a little bit. So I need to do a quick costume change and head out there. It's the last day I'm packing to go home. Uh, I've had about half an hour's sleep. Um, bleh, 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 bleh. um, <laughs> um uh. it's the next day, and I am buzzing. I had the most incredible week, and mostly that was thanks to the people. It was just such a warm and welcoming atmosphere. The support, enthusiasm, encouragement vulnerability and friendship of the other trainees is unlike anything I've ever seen before and exceeded all of my expectations. 
the trainers said that we were probably the most social group that they have ever seen and I think that went such a long way to making the course what it was and for us to get so much from it and on the subject of the trainers they were incredible every single one of them should be so proud of the job that they did with us this week they were friendly and knowledgeable and funny and welcoming i've been on so many different training courses and the standards of this training was up there i've just had a look back over all of the materials that we covered this week and i cannot believe how much we achieved in such a short time and so much of it was detailed and technical and it probably should have been boring but somehow they engaged us and they made it interesting at the start of the week i said that i was still scared i'd made a mistake and that it might be too difficult i wouldn't be good enough and all of those doubts have been put to bed. I can see myself being an examiner. I can see all of the opportunities and doors that this could open for me. And I know that it's something that I will be good at and I will take so much pride in. Um, going forwards, there is going to be a lot more online learning and it's going to go up a step in terms of intensity and difficulty. But I am really looking forward to it and feeling confident about it. At the end of June, I go away for two days for my LPG gas training in Evesham. And then at the end of July, there'll be another week in Norwich. And that'll be a lot more intense, a lot more hands-on. We'll be uh, doing lots and lots of examinations that week. And after that, I can book my final review. And once, I'm successful with that, I can start working as an examiner and I, I just can't wait to learn more and to start doing the job. If you've got any questions about the BSS, about the training, anything like that, let me know and I'll try and answer as many of them as I can. Um, on the boat front, we are in the final stage of the build now, so it shouldn't be much longer. I'll try and get up to Liverpool in the next couple of weeks and obviously I'll take you along with me for the ride but for now thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again very very soon. Bye!